What's up YouTube, it's JVD Blanket covering something. And I have a card. It says trade it with you. You'll find out about that in a second. What I did was I traded off the TNA Wildcat title. By the way, it's like a little after 12 o'clock in the morning when I'm shooting this. <laughs> so I'm trying to be as soft as I can. Um, traded off the TNA Wildcat for what's underneath this blanket right here. So let's go ahead. I want to move the card out of the way and show you what it is. There it is, the WWE version uh, 2 Scratch Logo Intercontinental Title. The five plated belt. Show you all the plates. I'll get to this plate in a sec. The main plate is this one it's the uh, main Scratch Logo with the blank name plate. All six crystals redone from the guy who I got this from. And the belt's in pretty good condition. The strap's even good. I like the strap. Um, you can tell it's version 2 because um, of the logo down there. The WWE Champion logo. You can tell it's a version 2 because of that. Let me move over to the back. Set of 8, set of 2x8 uh, and 2x5. All the screws are here, the four for this plate, the four for this plate, the plates, uh, the screws for here, the four for this one, the four for this one. Now, there's a screw here and here. There's two up here, but and there are four down here. Now, the two bigger screws right here are for the main belt itself. The two smaller ones, once I find out how to take them off, and I will, are for the nameplate. So I can go ahead and do that for the nameplate uh, once I get another nameplate and engrave it. Because uh, I'm going to keep the blank one blank uh, just for the reason. You know? But let's see who's on this card. Because I know you're dying to wonder who's on this card. So I traded with somebody. Who? Jose Zero. Sorry, Jose O21. I was going to say Zero21, but that would have been wrong. Jose O21. I would highly advise you guys to check out this man's channel, look at his videos, subscribe, and like the videos. He's on awesome reviews. He just uh, uploaded the uh, Wildcat version 2 belt that I traded him. He just did the review on that. And he actually took the screw out of the middle and put it where the one screw was missing on the one side. So, hey. But this is actually one of my favorite belts. Um, that I am impressed with. I've loved it for so long. I'm kind of upset. I do actually have what they have now, be it a plastic, plastic version. I really don't care. But this right here, this right here is what they're using now. Since Cody threw this one uh, out, he changed it for that piece of crap right there. Now, while that is a retro uh, belt <laughs> remixed a little bit, it doesn't compare to this one. This one is probably one of the only ones that I really actually wanted um, out of the ones that I had. Besides the big gold Attitude Era that I like. So, there you go. Uh, also, if you notice, a lot of belts these days look like this. No, not with the white strap, but no nameplate. The World Heavyweight, the Big Shield World Heavyweight, currently held by Cena, and the WWE US title, held by Dean Ambrose, are the only two belts still to have the feature of the nameplate. The Intercontinental, the Tag Team, and the WWE title, no, and the Divas title, I'm sorry, the Divas title also has a nameplate, but that's a shiny, glittery unicorn fart in the shape of a, of a fucking butterfly. That's what that is. But they don't have the uh, the other ones, the uh, the tag team, the WWE, and I'm missing one, the Intercontinental. That bitch. <laughs> don't have the nameplate. This belt does have the nameplate. I like this idea and I love this feature. Okay? Trust me. And like I said, look at the detailing on this belt. 
arrows, and the globe is amazing. It looks like stitching right there on the globe. Scratch mark logo. World Wrestling Entertainment. Intercontinental Champion. Uh, it does not have a property plate right here. I'm not going to really worry about it. Don't really care. If I did, I would have said something. But I didn't. I don't care. Funny thing is, also, the first to second set of snaps, that's where it fits around my waist. I tried the third set. just It didn't quite work. But it does fit. Oh, by the way, it's got a nice curvature, too. I think the plates, I think, are still 4 millimeters thick. It does have a curve. Let's see. Put my hand underneath that. This is one of the nice belts. Probably the nicest, the nicest belt I've ever had. And I got it off for trade. So, Jose, man, thank you very much, brother. Glad you came to Philly. Glad we had a chance to hang out, talk a little bit of wrestling. For everybody, again, subscribe to that man's channel, like the videos, watch the videos, subscribe to this channel, and you know what? Get ready, because tomorrow, well, later on today, I'm sorry, is Survivor Series. I'll catch you. Peace.